Syrian peace process brings together the leaders of Russia, Turkey and Iran for a trilateral meeting on Wednesday. Vladimir Putin is in Ankara to meet President Erdogan ahead of the summit. France is in the middle of transport chaos as rail workers launch an industrial strike against President Macron's drive to overhaul the state-funded industry. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. And a U.S. media company is under fire after telling TV presenters to read a scripted promo against fake news. Critics say that it bears a politically motivated message. Plus, the British media indulges in alternative theories on the poisoning of former double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter in Britain. That's in the absence of any official information yet from the investigation. Very good evening to you. Great to have your company. My name's Neil Harvey. This is RT International. President Putin is in Ankara for talks with the Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The visit is ahead of a trilateral summit along with Turkey and Iran on Wednesday. Artis Ilya Petrenko reports. I'm just outside the presidential palace in Ankara, Turkey. We've just heard cannons being fired. That's how Tayyip Erdogan is welcoming his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. It was totally visible previously, and you can see it on the leaders' faces today. Now, there is absolutely no doubt that they've put behind the conflict over the downing of the Russian army jet from a couple of years ago. Turkey and and Russia are genuinely very close now. And I have a perfect example to prove that. Sources in the diplomatic community have suggested that there was enormous pressure on Ankara from the West to make them kick out Russian diplomats as a result of the Skripal poisoning scandal, just like many European countries said. But despite being allied with the UK and with the US through NATO, Ankara said, no way. And here I've got a quote from Tayyip Erdogan. Just because some countries took some steps based on allegations, we shouldn't just follow them and do the same. The presidents of Turkey and Russia, of course, have many joint projects to take care of, including launching the construction of a nuclear power plant. Then besides that, something that always bothers Mr. Putin and Mr. Erdogan is Syria. Tuesday is the time for all kinds of discussions between Vladimir Putin and the Turkish president, Tayyip Erdogan. And on Wednesday, they will be joined by the Iranian leader, Hassan Rouhani. Reason number one for all that is Syria. Absolutely different things are in it for all three leaders. But somehow, thanks to the trio, the Syrian crisis is no longer a dead end. The so-called ISIL caliphate is all but gone and Russian efforts have shifted onto conflict knots that before seemed to be impossible to untie. Russia has almost completed its operation in East Ghouta, thanks to the so-called Reconciliation Center and the humanitarian pauses backed by Moscow. As many as 150,000 civilians were able to escape the blockade. Plus, it was thought that the rebels were never going to leave another area called Duma. But an agreement has been reached and the fighters are being escorted to Idlib on green buses. Some would argue it only plays into the hands of the Assad government. But then why are some rebels saying yes? to Turkey next, which is trying to find a balance between war on Kurdish militants, which it considers terrorists, appeasing Syrian rebels, and being friends with Russia. Ankara's olive branch military op seems to have paid off for the Turks. Turkey has taken the city of Afrin from the Kurds and a massive blow for the community that Ankara considers terrorists. When it comes to sorting out the war, 
Damascus versus the rebels, Turkey is also actively taking part. But obviously, they are backing the Syrian opposition. It is thanks to Ankara, some of the toughest Syrian rebels agreed to come to Sochi for the Syria National Congress. Iran clearly wants to stay on top of its game as a Shia powerhouse. Of course, they've always been on a sad side, fighting a proxy war with Saudi Arabia and trying to put up a bit of a show against Israel. But perhaps surprisingly, the tentative three-way alliance seems to be working. In the meantime... We're knocking the hell out of ISIS. We'll be coming out of Syria like very soon. Let the other people take care of it now. To put it mildly, the Russians and the Iranians won't be so sure it was America that knocked the hell out of Islamic State. Besides, take a look back at the last few months, and you'll see that lately, sorting out Syria's really been up to the trio. And so they're back together talking. Again, this time in Ankara. Ilya Petrenko, RT.